Well, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone had a great weekend and a happy Father's Day celebration. My name is David Wicks. I'm vice president of the NASDAQ OMX Group, and it is my great pleasure to welcome the After School All-Stars and its president and CEO, Ben Paul, and celebrity spokesperson and recording artist, Fabulous, and all our distinguished guests to NASDAQ. And we have distinguished guests. Where are you all from? That would be directed to our distinguished guests. Where are you all from? You just shout it out. It's live. Sweden. Sweden. We know it very well. <laughs> Welcome. All right. So I have a question for everyone. And Sweden, I need your help. What better place is there to be than right here at the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, and officially ring the NASDAQ opening bell? What, place, what better place is there? There's no better place. Let's give a round of applause to kick things off this morning. <laughs> Every day in the United States, as many as 15 million children leave school with no place to go. And every day, many of these youths are at risk and potentially involved in crimes, join gangs, or experiment with drugs and alcohol. But in 1992, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger started an organization called Inner City Games Foundation. And it was started to combat this problem. By 2002, the entire organization changed its name to After School All Stars, or ASAS, reflecting the focus on academic and life achievement. Today, ASAS is truly a national organization of dedicated professionals that serves 80,000 young people annually through comprehensive after school and after summer or summer programs in 13 cities throughout the United States. Now the organization engaged children in activities and ongoing relationships that increase confidence and encourage success in all areas of their lives, at home, in school, and in their community. And they're able to do this by providing comprehensive after-school programs that are fun for kids and also keep them safe and help them achieve success in school and life. They also prepare middle school kids for high school, college, and the 21st century by offering academic support, enrichment opportunities, and health and fitness activities. Last Thursday, California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger hosted ASAS fundraising event right here in New York City at the Mandarin Oriental. Now the event was a huge success and will literally benefit children across this great country. Ben and Fabulous, I'd like to congratulate you and the entire After Schools All-Stars on the event last week and all the work that your organization does to help literally change the lives of our children. And we hope that today's market open brings further awareness to all your great efforts. Sweden, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now please join me in welcoming After School All-Stars President and CEO Ben Paul and celebrity spokesperson Fabulous. Thank, thank you, David, and thank you, NASDAQ, for this incredible opportunity for us to share our story. Uh, my name is Ben Paul, and I'm the President and CEO of After School All-Stars. You know, in our organization, we also have a bell, but it's a warning bell. And a warning bell goes off for us for every child in the inner city who doesn't have access to a safe place to go after school or healthy food options. We know that one third of American children are obese by the time they reach third grade. Another warning bell goes off for every dollar that's cut out of education. And as we stand here today, we know that school districts are cutting education budgets all across the country. And finally, a warning bell goes off for every child that drops out of high school, and unfortunately that happens 1.2 million times every year. That is why Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger created After School All-Stars over 20 years ago to respond to the dropout crisis, to respond to the obesity problem, and to bring enrichment programs back into our schools. 20 years later, our programs serve over 80,000 children on 450 school campuses in 13 cities from here in New York all the way to Honolulu, Hawaii. Every day, every child in our program receives three hours of comprehensive programs, including academics, enrichment, and health and fitness. But before we ring the opening bell together, 
I'd like to introduce our newest celebrity ambassador, a multi-platinum recording artist. Please welcome Fabulous. Uh, thank you, Ben. Um, I just wanted to say that I joined forces with uh, After School All-Stars because um, what they're doing is phenomenal. And, you know, me growing up in Brooklyn, you know, I was able to uh, hang out and, and, and play basketball in community centers after school, which is uh, a, a, a time where a lot of kids start to, you know, get curious and want to do things, you know, when their parents are not around. So uh, being that they have a program that reaches 80,000 kids across the country, you know, I, I definitely wanted to be involved and give my influence as well. Ben and Fabulous, to commemorate today's opening bell, we'd like to present you with the NASDAQ opening bell crystal. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Not getting a lift this morning is California Pizza Kitchen, the company coming out with some disappointing forecasts. And it's an interesting one I want to highlight because remember, private equity and restaurants have been a very, very active space lately. This drawback in the stock here could actually maybe mean there could be some more private equity interest around it. Talking about heavy manufacturing. So uh, if they make more money, then maybe they buy more of our stuff and it could become a virtuous cycle. Yeah, but <laughs> do we get our stuff into their country right. without tariffs? I don't know, and I guess that really is the big question, because then the other thing is, and I know Mark and I always worry about this, is that uh, if, if uh, they let their currency go up, stuff costs more here in the U.S. that they make in China, and then we don't maybe buy as much of it. They don't have as many dollars, and you know what that means, Mark? They don't buy as many treasuries. Yeah, I wouldn't worry that much about that, though, because, I mean, when you look at a product from China, you know, how much of it, how much of the cost is labor? Very, very little. So, you know, if 10%, if 10 of their cost goes up 10%, they've really increased the cost on that product only 1%. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be more psychological than it will, will be reality. Which All right, we're getting ready for the opening yeah. bells here. Excuse me while I go grab my notes. And at the NASDAQ, After School All Stars, a nonprofit providing after school programs across the country. Okay, take a look at your screens, ladies and gentlemen. They are applauding because the opening bell rings. He's made a comeback. We'll talk to him about his money and his new album. He's with us in 20 minutes.